On this week's news update, the Earth seen from space in ultra high definition. Fish poop that can help coral. And a 3D printer built from toy bricks. First up, the International Space Station orbits the Earth over 250 miles above us. And the astronauts who live there have a unique view of our planet below. Last year, astronauts on the space station filmed their view of the whole Earth in ultra-high definition, allowing us to see all of our planet in magnificent detail. The footage captures our world by day and during nighttime. It shows oceans and continents, including cities and deserts. They have even captured glimpses of the Earth's atmosphere and the coloured lights known as auroras that sometimes appear in the night sky. Now you can sit back and enjoy the view that few people have experienced but without the need for a spacesuit. Up next, fish that feed on coral reefs are known as coralliverous fish. It was thought that coralliverous fish were harmful to the reefs, but new research suggests that in fact, these fish can help the reefs they feed on. Scientists have discovered that the poop from coral eating fish provides the reefs with useful microbes. These tiny microbes are a kind of bacteria that are only visible under a microscope. They can help the coral to develop, grow and heal from bleaching, which is caused by climate change. By understanding that these fish benefit the reefs, the scientists who led the study hope to improve how these important habitats are protected. And finally, it's TechBeat. With a little imagination, toy bricks can be used to construct almost anything. Now, scientists at Cardiff University in the United Kingdom have used children's building bricks to make a 3D bioprinter. One use for the bioprinter is to create synthetic human skin for medical trials that test medicines and help study diseases. This type of medical research is complicated and can be very expensive to carry out. So scientists are hopeful that their new bioprinter will provide researchers, including those in the developing world, with a low-cost way to make synthetic skin for their experiments. Making the bioprinter from toy bricks means the technology is accessible and affordable for researchers all over the world to use. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Anise from the Trick Science Reporter team. Thanks for watching this week's episode. New episodes are out every Thursday, so don't forget to sign up at twigsciencereporter.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel at Twig Science Reporter so you never miss the very latest in science news. See you next week.